Dispatchetics. Spagetomics. The need for a systematic clarification. We are witnessing in recent times an increasing confusion and a systematic monopolism of words such as alchemy and spagyrics. This act of usurpation and intellectual dishonesty is much more extensive than it might seem, but we will refer here to what happens in the last 28 years only, with particular reference to a small group of individuals, also disorganized and poorly trained, derived from David Hudson's Ermusian School. As we had already occasion to explain elsewhere, we certainly consider the valiant work of Mr. Hudson, who has placed an interesting starting point on which we would have expected at least an intellectually honest opening to conceptual development and evolution by his followers. Much less, we do not accept as true certain statements of his partnership with General Electric, as he stated at a conference held in 2011 at Enota, nonsense. Considering that we know personally some important names of this multinational company, who have openly denied any relationship with him, past, present and future, on the other side, it seems that the followers of David Hudson are locked inside a shell of preconceptions, a sort of religious monopoly of the world arms armus, but also of everything that is related to the monatomic state of matter, in which every form of evolution, and discussion out of their religion principles, is suppressed, just for clarity. Chemists define as monatomic or monoatomic those elements that are stable as single atoms, mon or mono means one, in order for an element to be stable by itself, it needs to have a stable octet of valence electrons, A.M. Helmenstein, Ph.D., we unearthed this definition, because those who we henceforth shall name garage or connection, Gog, consider this matter as minerals, true elemental and chemically obtainable through simple acid-base reactions, a real nonsense, as a simple chemical reactions always returns a molecular state, that it is solid or liquid, or even colloidal suspension soft diatomic or polyatomic clusters, unlike the case in which these gentlemen have an atomic force microscope and can in this case assembling matter one atom at a time. But even in that case, they should face the fact that, once the atoms are placed close to each other, they will bind irreversibly. As the reader can see, it creates a giant mess on the basic terms and principles. The real monatomic matter is something very different, obtainable only through cyclotrons, and stabilizable in a suitable means only with systems similar to those used in the production of radio label tracers for medical purposes. So that technology totally different and much more complex, both in the principles and in the methods, than the application of four beakers, a portable pH meter, a bit of seawater and a bottle of food grade lye. Same applies to other methods that use sodium metal and other gadgets as steel pots and cooking stoves. But again, we do not discuss certain issues that are important to us about the true monatomic state of matter and the unique way to obtain it in stable form. We already expressed our thoughts elsewhere. The purpose of this article is to systematically reposition the areas and subjects, which are often confused and mixed together so indecent, ignorant and nothing short of vulgar. We will make a distinction absolutely necessary for people to be correctly informed. Two terms are often used to describe the background disciplines that underlies all the experiments conducted by the GOG, all channel and spagyrics. Along with these two terms, a series of fraudulent misrepresentation, historical falsifications, confusion and nonsense statements, were we of the most uninformed tabloid. In reality, the really ancient and serious disciplines in question are describable in the following way. 1. Alchemy, theoretical practical art, precisely positioned historically and geographically, whose main purpose is the embodiment of the universal spirit, universal fluid, in a suitable magnet made of non-specified matter, in order to coagulate and settle it in a tangible and manipulable form. Such a coagulant will return, by a series of precise operations called philosophical, the so-called philosophical mercury, 
Through an equivocal basis of so-called philosopher's stone, which will be oriented to the three kingdoms, mineral, animal, vegetable, alchemy therefore is a science for the study and understanding of the three kingdoms of nature and at the same time a philosophical discipline, in which theory and practice are tightly connected and reciprocally delivered in a series of precise tasks kept secret whose complexity transcends any other known methodology of modern chemistry and physics. Alchemy is a science in the initiatory sense of term, which can be most theologically and epistemologically communicated only through two channels. The written channel, that is the word that is preserved physically in and all along history through a coded language and theoretical method. The aria, whose key cannot be publicly reached the old channel such as the transmission of the practical teaching, praxis, from mouth to ear by an adept to a philosopher, or to a subject who has implemented the fundamental option of conscious passage from the position of simple postulate to that of operative philosopher. Alchemy is the wisdom that comes from the awareness of the complexity of natural habitation, a discipline that is primarily operating practice within a physical microcosm in order to replicate and further improve the universal macrocosm, the bodies obtained in alchemy, and then in order to real philosophical operations are absolutely new bodies that have nothing to do with the matters used at the start and that manifest both chemically and physically a real and inherently deep transmutation of matter, at the atomic and quantum identity levels, whatever school or method, especially modern, that transcend these fundamental assumptions and that is unable to obtain the true philosophical matter, cannot be named or even considered as alchemy. Today there are many schools of self-proclaimed alchemists, more or less dispersed throughout the world, but only with the achievement of the true spirit of philosophical wine, which has nothing to do with ethanol or with any other ordinary chemical compound whose structure is unique and absolute and not rise to subjective interpretation. We can really talk about alchemy and adeptness. Differently, we have only metallurgy involving common chemistry reactions. 2. Spagyrics. Spagyrics also called chemistry. Chimia is a practical science recovered and redefined by Paracelsus, Philippus or Eulis Theophrastus Bombastus von Hohenin. 1,493-1,541, no theologically similar but epistemologically different than alchemy, the origin of which is more recent and historically geographically situated. Spagyrics aims at obtaining new bodies through a process of disintegration and reconstruction of organized and specified bodies, as they are offered by the three kingdoms of nature, mineral, animal and vegetable. The process of disintegration of organized matter is done through various methods, depending on the kingdom of the origin of the raw material used and the result you want to achieve. The difference with alchemy consists properly in, spagyrics relies on various mantra, properly conceived according to the art, as for mineral kingdom, or usually on biological putrefaction and fermentation, as well as distillation processes. As for vegetable and animal kingdom, alchemy relies directly on the universal agent only, a compound that only adepts know how to obtain and stabilize permanently, which acts catalytically without ever exhausting its properties. According to the classification by Miko Alef of the Miko Alef of Red Arthur de Monstier, Course de Chimie, Posterior de Introduction to Set Science, Volume 1, Maloub. Paris 1751, which we return in the redefined and synthetic form for the best understanding by the reader. Spagyrics can be divided into medicinal chemistry, or the practice intended for the preparation of remedies for the healing of intelligent beings, plants and animals. Philosophical chemistry, or the practice intended to deeply study and reproduce the manifested chemical mechanisms of nature. Spagyrics has several application schools in respect of the method and the remedies preparation. Today we can count at least a dozen, of which only ten are officially recognized. These are all stemming from the single root or classical or Paracelsian spagyrics, 
perfected and enriched later by Emily Fevler and Antonio Biscabas from Montagnano. Today, spagyrix has been deeply standardized. After the systematization by Carl Friedrichs and Pell, 1801, 1879, and even in its various modern methodological differentiations, some of these methods has been recognized and included in the homeopathic pharmacopoeia of Germany, HAP, and European pharmacopoeia, Euros, PH. Alchemy and spagyrics may have common elements and cross-connections, but keep clear in mind that these are two independent doctrines, whose purpose is very different. Everything out of these basic principles is pure hyperchemistry or metallurgy. 3. Spagyatomics it is a modern discipline, founded by A.L. Jenner, H. Fisher, A. Zimmerman, that tends to unify alchemy, spagyrics, in a portion of non-atomic chemistry, at least in theoretical approaches to arms, although questionable on many points, quantum chemistry, quantum physics and condensed state physics, neurosciences while preserving their identity as epistemologically and sociologically independent, Spagetomics arises from the need to systematize a delicate and complex topic, that of a peculiar form of exotic matter obtained through the conciliation between spagyric methodologies with the use of cyclotrons and modified radio labeling technologies. The studies conducted for years on nuclear superdeformation by the Zurich group headed by A. Jenner allowed to isolate superdeformed nuclear matter from metallic gold spagyrically modified under certain conditions, leading to the creation of a new class of stable matter assimilable by the body, with a particular action on the new elastic nailing and the quantum structure rebalancing of the living being. Superdeformed nuclear hybrids, SMH, are created for the first time in the lab and immediately they exhibit superconducting behavior, in the same way of monatomic matter but with a higher performance as a self-adaptive identity. This matter's hybridization composed the holotomic matter, the building blocks of philosophical subtle matter intended in the ancient alchemical cosmology, that is represented by a new category of non-local particles that the Zurich group identify as quantums, the SMH identity, i.e. the particles physically ponderable, measurable and observable. Obviously with a dedicated technology and specific detection systems, esitons, a class of quasi-particles with high energy gradient, which represent the vibrational component, the propagating germination of polyatomic matter, spagyatomics should in no way be construed as alchemy, nor as spagyrics even like as mainstream science, but as a new model of approach that, as mentioned above, tends to the unification of the fields. The Zurich group is developing on an experimental basis a standard of measurement for this new exotic matter, which will be available in scientific publications as the 100% level of experiment replication will be achieved and confirmed. The scientific method, totally free of preconceptions, is what the Zurich group want to apply some elements of absolute validation and scientific honesty. Everything out of these basic principles is pure school chemistry, that release salts precipitates from seawater or saline solutions, that doesn't contain the minimum trace in real monatomics. Conclusion This clarification was necessary in order to specify that the current Gox school does not represent anything in the three disciplines stated in the points 1, 2 and 3, but a current non- Verified and absolutely fanciful school of thought that produces precipitates of magnesium and calcium hydroxide, containing some elements in metallic form which cannot be considered alchemical preparations, nor monatomic identities, but only a bunch of minerals and diatomic and or polyatomic molecules, already present in the starting raw matter. There isn't anything alchemical, philosophical, Spagyrical and or spagyatomic in these preparations, despite the daring claims by the representatives of this school of thought, who have so much to criticize the work of others. Moreover, 
with the same work of David Hudson is questionable because its patents do not report anything that is not common chemistry and its resulting claims are in fact not even patentable. The methods exposed by the Gox school are even more simple approximate precipitation of inorganic salts. This partially explains the reasons because the method of Hudson and followers for the isolation of so-called ones was never recognized by the USPTO, that refused always to grant any patent right, and the fact he had to apply for a UK and Australian patent. From an atomic state of matter exists but it is not what is being described by these people. Just as an example, they're not sufficient and in need of further study. A look to the following documents is necessary at least for understand something about certain physical behaviors of monatomic gold. Stiff monatomic gold wires with a spin and zigzag geometry by Daniel Sanchez Portal, Emilio Artacho, Javier Junkera. Pablo Ordigen, Alberto Garcia, Jose M. Soler, Integrated Gross Domain Telephone Number 877-209-4037, X0.